Hey everybody, I'm Carolyn from Tranquil Mentor and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be making a Valentine's Strawberry Shortcake Fake Bake from three Dollar Tree dollhouses. And what I've done here is I'm just cutting these tabs off because we're going to be gluing these together and putting a little porch or patio in. So we don't need these. We're just going to be hot gluing these together. This will be the, the first and second story. I'll get them off. It takes a little bit of doom, but they'll come off. And then here, I'm out in my workshop here, so it's a little bit different of a view. However, this house here, I'm gonna be using the front bay window. I'm just pulling this apart. The bay window is going to cover the second story door, so that it looks a little bit different of a look. And then here, I'm taking my block from Dollar Tree, my sanding block. I'm just going to lightly buff these just so it gives a little bit of adhesion. Don't want to scratch it up or anything. I'll use this Painter's Touch by Rust-Oleum. It's white matte. And I'm going to spray everything here just to get a primer coat. You don't have to do that. This just works really good with the acrylic paint. We'll let that dry overnight so that we get a good seal. Also, you can use latex paint if you have it. You just would have to paint it on. And then the paint that, uh, I can never remember the name of it. Uh, it's by Waverly. Chalk paint, that's right. You can use the white chalk paint too. Next, what we'll do here is we want that bay window. I'm going to take some masking tape because we're going to cut this piece out and we're not going to use the rest of the house now, but we're going to put this tape up the middle here. I'm lining it up so that I could still see the outline of the end of the bay window. And then I am for now going to go up and take that piece of the roof too but we're not going to be using that for now maybe at another time here we are and i'm just going to take a sharpie and make a line here where i can see the edge of that window and that piece and then we'll just go up in here and just take a little bit of a straight line and then i'll outline this roof part and again this is really just if i'm going to use it another time i'm not going to use it this time so i'm making sure that it gets cut out if i want to make another house i can use this piece and then just rub your finger in here your nails a little bit and then you can see that outline there and then down to the bottom just give a rough estimate there of a straight line and there you have that uh, with we'll get a box cutter knife out and then also the the snips here just follow down. You can also score that if you want to with the box cutter prior to cutting it. Some of the areas are a little bit hard to get into, but just be really careful and you know don't get a cut with this. But little by little, if you just do a little at a time, that will get it scored. And then you can cut with the, the snips again. But it does come off pretty easily it does go through pretty easily it's just you have to really take your time and just do little pieces at a time all right and then this little part kind of you do have to get in there with the box cutter a little bit more here we'll go to the back and cut through this piece so it'd be a little bit easier to maneuver and then more cutting with the box cutter will get that piece out and it's just a, a building process little by little. Okay, and there we go. We've got those two pieces separated and we'll be using this bottom piece is what I've been calling the bay window. And that's gonna cover our front door just so that we have a little bit different of a look. From here, I'm gonna take that masking tape again and I want that other little piece off of the side there. So. I'm going to take my Sharpie again and I've pressed down so I could see where the outline is and the masking tape really helps. It keeps it from splitting. I want to be able to go all the way through 
kind of in a straight line here. So I'm just going to make a dotted line and then we'll go through and do some cutting here and get that little extra edge off. Okay, and this is what it looks like with the line drawn and that's where we're going to be using our snips and cut through again and more of the box cutter to do the scoring. That helps a lot. All right, and then more of the box cutter here. We'll use this, uh, that's a silicone mat under there and I don't wanna cut through. So we'll, we just put a little self-healing mat from Dollar Tree underneath. Those always come in handy. And then here we really don't need these, so we'll start snipping away at these. They're gonna be in the way, so we just wanna make sure that we get as much off of here as we can with the snips. All right, and then we're gonna put that roof back on. There's our bay window. And what we'll do is we're gonna trim a little bit more because that bottom piece is gonna get in the way, but we just keep trying it on there little by little just to see how far we need to go back. We're just resizing it or sizing it here. This part is getting in the way, so we're gonna take our box cutter again and just whittle away at that little by little. And it seems as if we're gonna have to get this whole entire bottom piece out so that they don't bump up against each other. And then that way we'll be able to hot glue that in place and that will cover up that door on that top story. All right, looks like we almost have it. That looks like a good fit there. And we'll get it all cut and just get these extra little pieces off. Sometimes they stick in the way there. You just kind of whittle away at them until you get the right fit. Here's what that's gonna look like. We push it all together. And then we've got that front piece on and what I'm doing is I'm gonna take the windows and put all the windows back in. It's easier to paint when they're out. This part, what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a jumbo popsicle stick and I wanna make a balcony because I'm not really gonna have a balcony per se. I need a little place for the, not the caulk, but the lightweight spackle that I'm going to use for my whip topping. I need a little place for that to rest on. I'm going to cut these and then I'll measure. Because the bay window does stick down a little bit, I'm not going to be able to put it completely across. So I'm just going to use what, you know, what I have and do these two side pieces here with the popsicle sticks. And then this piece does have to be glued in. So we'll hot glue that in. And that's just what I'm going to do with that is just hot glue. We'll get it in. And then also if there's any edges, I can just fill them in with hot glue. And then once it's painted, that really won't show. That's all glued in place and I will go through and glue up the little openings there so that it looks better. And we'll just stick some glue in the side and it won't be noticeable. We'll just paint right over it. All right, and then here's the popsicle sticks that I cut and sized and I really didn't make any special dimension or anything like that. I just took a look at it and took my pencil and just made a mark. And then I made the other one the same size. What I'm going to be doing is gluing those two in, but right now I'm just getting an idea of what it's going to look like and how far out it's going to stick out. These two pieces here, they're going to give me a little bit of leverage actually because the other popsicle sticks for the balcony are going to make it off balance. So it's going to be tilted back. With these two little pieces, I'm just going to stick those in there and that'll give us a level second story. I have some khaki paint from Apple Barrel. I'm going to take, I want this to look like shortcake. 
I'm experimenting here with some colors. I had I didn't have any apple barrow yellow, but I had this from Dollar Tree. It's a very vibrant yellow. I'm going to take that and take a little bit and I'm trying to get I mean the khaki probably would have been fine, but I really wanted to get a little bit more of that baked look. So we'll get this mixed up here and I'm using my fan brush. I, I like to mix paint with that. Also, we'll just take a little bit more of this Acrylology Yellow, which is another very vibrant orange. Um, it's actually orange, not yellow. And taking that and I'm gonna get that all mixed in. I feel that's gonna give me more of a shortcake baked type look getting a little bit more orangey there. And I do like the color that I have now. I'm just gonna give this a coat here with that color. So the two center pieces of the house are going to be our shortcake. And then we'll get that. I'm, I'm even just gonna paint the, the balcony there because we're really not going to see it. So I just thought I'd get some paint on it. It always makes things last a little bit longer. All right, and then we're going to paint over this front area. And then later on, we will go through and highlight those windows a little bit so that they stand out. Here, I'm just finishing up the painting of this shortcake layers. I've got my Chrology White from Dollar Tree and my Craftsmart Red from Michaels. And I'm going to take those two, put those together and mix them. And I want to get a pink door. I, I don't want it very, very pink, but a, a nice mellow pink. And it does turn out to be a little bit pinkier, but I think I like it. I, I actually do end up putting more of pink in here. Just wanted it just not too tacky pink like the inside <laughs> of the dollhouses. Uh, little by little and and I, I like the way that came out it does need a second coat on the door and then i painted white again on top just because it needed a little bit of touch up and i've got those windows a little bit lighter and here is we're going to do this top spackling to uh, make our strawberry shortcake topping and I'm, i have this round circle that i got or foam piece that i get from dollar tree and I'm just taking sizing it up here because I want enough to where we're going to get a little tuft of that whip topping on top. I cut that, I guess, pretty much in, in quarter, in a quarter pieces. It's going to take some hot glue here. It's on medium temp because this is styrofoam. And I'm just going to hold that tight until it adheres. And I think that's good there glued pretty quickly with that low temp. Sometimes the high temp just seems to melt right through it. All right. I'm gonna let that set a little bit and then I've got my old trusty Wotan bag here that's well used and probably going to be put out to the pasture soon. Here's my cup. I use this a lot just to get my bag in. I'm going to roll this cuff down as far as I can because it just makes it easier to get the frosting in or the whip topping. And it's pretty much the lightweight spackle. So we'll get that tucked in. And then what I use is Fast and Final, the lightweight spackle. I believe I got this from Home Depot. And you can get it from Walmart also. And I think Lowe's. But if you look around, you can find it. It's the easiest way, the easiest brand, I feel, that I don't have to put white paint in it or, in or, put white paint in it or anything. And it just comes out of the jar into the bag and there's no other prep for it. I've got my bag all set. And we're going we're gonna to work on the balcony first. And I'm just going to go along and get my whip topping on that balcony piece. All right. Okay, perfect. Now there's a little edge here. 
that I just wanted to put a little bit more on. And then I'm going to do the other side the same way. And later on, I do go in and I go across that top piece too, the, in front of the bay window. I just decided it would look better, but I don't show it here, but I, I do that off camera later. And then I'm just going to go around our area over here, just getting another layer of that whip topping. And then we're just going to slowly put this out. The camera is speeded up a little bit, so it does look faster, but I really take my time with it. That center piece here, I do go back later and even do that center piece later. And it's just, these are the things that you take a look at later. And if you decide to make changes, you go and change it and, uh, you know, update it and everything. At first, sometimes you might want to do something one way and then you, you see it and think, well, I can add to that and get the look that I want. Here I'm just choking up here on my bag, so to speak, and kneading it and getting more out. I probably need to choke up on that a little bit more, really get a tight squeeze out of there. All right, and then I'm just going around that styrofoam ball and just pressing in, pressing in a little bit more. And then I'm going to get that topping piece there. Just get a little tuft right on top. And this is where I take a look and I go back and decide that that other piece does need a section in it. And it was, you know, the spackle's very forgiving, so I was able to ch make that change. And I'm just going to tilt that back a little bit to the camera because I have an overhead camera right now. But I'm just going to show you what that looks like. And I, I really like the way that that came out. I think it looks pretty. Okay, and then here I've got some strawberries from Timu for my fake bakes. I just stuck that strawberry on top because it is strawberry shortcake. So it needed a nice topper of a strawberry. And then next, we've got some sprinkles. And a lot of this decora uh, decorations that I'm putting on the sprinkles and everything or from Timu. I just really couldn't find a lot of things at Dollar Tree for this. So I, in advance, I ordered from Timu and I just got a lot of Valentine's confetti and sprinkles. They were, they came out really good. I mean, you know, financially they, you know, you get more bang for your buck. You just have to wait and order early and you have to give them enough time. I think it's 10 to 14 days sometimes. And you just have to look at the shipping time. It's not always the same. But here I'm just plopping those on there and they'll stay for the most part. Some of them will come off and then I'll just either put them back on or put them back in the bag. Here, it does look like I'm being very rough with this and it's just because I sped up the camera because the video was going to be very, very long. And then I've got these two strawberry pieces and slices. I divide these up here because I want to go back by hand and I have some areas that I'd really like to tuck something in. You don't have to do it this way. It was just, I wanted them in certain areas. So it was, it was very tranquil and very rewarding to do. So we'll take little pieces one at a time. And that just depends on how you like things. And here, another Timu item is these little heart macarons. And I've chosen the lighter pink and the darker pink, and I'm just going to place them where I like them. And then here I've got that Craft Smart from Michaels again, and this is just some of my Glidden latex paint that I usually have on hand. And I'm going to mix that up here, and we'll get in, we've got to get it a little bit darker, but these are, I believe that these are little couches, but I'm not sure. But anyway, they're in the kit, in the dollhouse kits as furniture. So I took those and painted those up. And I'm going to use those as little flower boxes. Our next step is I want to be able to get some glitter on here. I'm just taking my Mod Podge 
and my brush and painting everything on. I've got this, which I've had for a very long time from Joann's years and years ago. I sprinkle that on and then underneath I have that paper and that'll help me put the glitter back in. I like doing that because then I have a variety of glitter colors. But if I ever see anything like that again at Michael's or Joann's, I'm going to grab another one because I, I really use it a lot. And then I'm just shaking that on there, tapping it a little bit off to the side. And then I will be able to put some in there. And that is like is a light pink. And then here I've got my super glue adhesive from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put that on some paper plates here. And then also from Timu are some little hearts. These guys that you see, the little kawaii shortcake i made those in ai in kittle and they also have a 3d printed backer but there's a lot of other things that you can use for those as a backer say a the bottle caps that come off the metal bottle caps some of them can be painted white and you make your own cabochon so to speak and then here we are we're taking some glue uh, taking some of that glue with some q-tips and then I've got my quick stick here and it has sort of a wax end on there sometimes it's it's a pain but if you just give it a few seconds more it'll come off the piece but it does help me pick them up and then I've got another second set of hearts there from that little case and I'm just altering the colors here so that they're a lighter pink and then a darker pink and a lighter pink and they're just little little hearts what i want to do with this piece that i made i may also used sublimation process with walla sub paper because after i printed it out it just wasn't vibrant and there you go that's going to go on the front door and that's the 3d print on the back and then that walla sub paper i just my printer just wasn't getting the colors that i wanted and you know I have certain ideas of how I want things and this is a little strawberry couple that I got from Creative Fabrica and I put them on the 3d print also and with Walla sub paper I wanted this as a medallion type of piece to go at the top here I knew what I wanted and usually I don't find it I've got to make it but that strawberry couple was so cute on Creative Fabrica that I had to have them. So I just shrunk them down. Beautiful file also, and I'll link that below. Very nice file and uh, very high resolution. And then here we're just going to take the little wreath with our strawberry, our kawaii strawberry shortcake. Going to get that onto our front door, little front door wreath. But all these little touches, I get this picture of in my mind of how I want things to look and I just love the little kawaii art I, I just think it's adorable and it makes things just more special there are wreath is on and then I also wanted to just add some pearls here just to give a little bit more dimension and softness and I just take them and I glue them right at the top. Those are from Dollar Tree a long time ago. And here's some gloss real green paint. And what I've done here is I want to make for those flower boxes, I want to make little flowers. And I'm going to make them out of strawberries and hearts. Here I've got these. You don't, you don't have to paint these toothpicks white first. You can paint them green. I just changed my mind. I think this area does need a little bow, something nice and soft with a pearl in it and so we'll get that glued on with my fancy tool there here are some blocks that i've had from dollar tree forever and the containers from dollar tree too but what i want to do is give this some height i'm going to put some grass like whip topping grass on it so i wanted to give this a little bit of height I've just used these blocks for to keep them pretty stable and I glued those on in different areas these are the tumbling blocks too I'm going to take the tumbling 
a tumbling block and put that in my front porch here. And what that'll do is that'll keep it from tipping forward. And it creates a stoop, but you won't see that because I'll, I'll go over it later with the whip topping. And then I'm just taking that green paint, probably not even necessary at this point, but I just decided if you see it from the side, maybe that it would look good, but it's really not necessary. You're going to go right over it. And then I've got some food coloring that I got on Amazon. I usually try to put this into, if I'm going to put any color into the whip topping or spackling, I use that. I seem to have a lot better luck with it. And then I've got my green in there. That's a light kind of Kelly green. I'm going to mix that in. I like that color, but I think I want it a little bit darker, so I'm just going to put dark green in it. And then we'll get that color to what what we want. And I think that looks more like grass. I, I really like that. Okay, and then we're just going to choke up on our little thing here. And we'll get that grass put in. And I'm just going to bring it right across. And you see how really the feet are covered anyway, but for some reason I felt like they weren't going to be. <laughs> so <laughs> Anyway, it does keep the wood in good condition <laughs> for years to come. <laughs> and then we'll just get that little piece here. All right. I've got my trusty model magic from Dollar Tree, which I pick up all the time. Anytime I get a chance, when I see it, I grab it. And then I've got my toothpicks that are painted. I'm just going to put some holes in there and just see about where we need to be as far as how high they need to be. And I'm going to get a general idea and I'll cut these little toothpicks down and start putting them in and placing them just where I want them. Some of them are going to be higher than others. We'll just make them look natural. So I've got my glue out again. I just, I love this glue from Dollar Tree. It always works and it doesn't smell. It smells a little bit and then it goes away. It, it works really good. These little guys here, I'm just taking a little bit of glue and dabbing it on. Then I try the toothpick, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I've got my stick out again. If you hold just a little bit longer, it will stay. It just sometimes it comes off a little bit. You just have to give it a few seconds. I learned that because I was taking the stick away really quick and it was just not, it would just come off with me because sometimes that tip is waxy. See, I'm pressing a little bit here and then give it a few seconds and it will stay. And that's how it looks when it's finished. I just think it's so adorable. And then here's our other one. If I can get in there a little bit closer and show them to you. But one's gonna go on the right window and one on the left. And we're just gonna hot glue those on. I'm just gonna try to get an idea here of where I wanna put them. And I think about right there looks good. So put some glue on the back of it. I thought that would be a little bit easier instead of putting it on the house. And then I'll press that into place and you'd have to hold on to it for a little bit while the glue sets. And then we'll put our second one on and hold that down a little bit, give it some time to adhere. And that spackle, the green spackle has been dried. I let it dry overnight. And then this 3D fabric paint is from Dollar Tree. It works so good for drizzle. And that's what I'm doing right here. It's just the color red. When I was at Dollar Tree, they had a lot of the primary colors. So I grab those. And then anytime I see white or black, I grab that too. From right here, I'm just going to drizzle that down and make it look like a little bit of topping. And there you have it. I'm just so excited how this came out. I absolutely love it. It's going to be on my table here as a, a centerpiece. I have a table runner under it, but there is how our 
Drizzle turned out and our little strawberry couple. So cute, really showing the holiday. Our little macarons and our bow and pearls and glitter. And then if we go down, we can see our wreath here, a little door wreath and how those window flower boxes came out. And I just really like too how that green gives it a little bit of color, kind of looking like Strawberry Shortcake's house. This was so much fun. I'm just loving how this came out and I will have this. I'm going to seal this too because I don't have it sealed. I just wanted to get this out to you because it's getting so close to the holiday. I just wanted to, I am going to seal that with clear spray just so that it stays nicely through, through the years because I want to have it for a long time. Very, very thrilled with this. Our inspiration for these Dollar Tree dollhouses are from DIY Kareem on YouTube. The link to her video will be below. If you make a Dollar Tree dollhouse, tag us on Instagram or visit us on Facebook at Tranquil Mentor. We'd love to see what you do. If you're already one of our subscribers, welcome back and thanks for watching our video today. And if you're not a subscriber, welcome to our channel. And if you would be so kind to subscribe and like our video, it helps YouTube notice us a little bit more and it supports our channel and helps us to grow. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.